On the farm tonight, we're talking about soaring egg prices. The more they go up, the more competitive smaller local producers actually are. WFXR's George Nola reports the price difference is so minimal these days that some consumers are opting to spend a little more for what many believe is a higher quality egg. Morning at Bramble Hollow Farm, and it's time to collect the eggs. <laughs> So this is where the table eggs come from. Brent Wills runs Bramble Hollow near Montvale with his family. The stereotypical idea is that you know local products or biological or organic products are a little more expensive. You know, one of the reasons that they are that is because cost of production to do it that way uh, is is a little higher. And so it's really about how you value um, you know your community and and sort of the end product and what you're buying for your family. But these days, with egg prices being so high, the price of locally produced eggs has become a lot more competitive. What you'll pay in a store is almost what you'll pay for eggs from a smaller producer. Plus, there's the idea that when you buy local, you develop a relationship with the people who produce your food. They're set so that when they go in here, they lay in here and then they roll down. If you're buying locally or regionally, you know, from your farmer, You've got a little more transparency in the system. You know, you know in that farmer, you know their production practices. Um, and you know, typically you're gonna know the kind of quality that you're getting. The chickens at Bramble Hollow are pastured, fed non-GMO feed and are allowed to forage. Will says that makes for healthier, happier chickens. And in turn, those chickens lay higher quality eggs. In essence, giving consumers more quality bang for their buck. All you have to do is put them side by side. You know, take a store-bought supermarket egg and put it side by side with a, a local egg that's raised on pasture, and you know, you, there's there's really no way to there's really no way to claim that there's no difference. Bramble Hollow is truly a family farm. Brent, his wife, his daughter, and his son all work the farm. In fact, his teenage son Jack runs the egg operation. And Stoney, you heard Brent mention that there's a noticeable difference between a local pastured egg and the eggs you buy at the grocery store. Well, I've got one of each here. This white one, that's the grocery store egg. This okay. is one of Brent's eggs. We're going to crack them open. We're going to put the uh, grocery store egg in first. This is the extent of his cooking. Yes. Yeah. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Okay, there's that. All right. Now we're going to do one of Brent's eggs. Mm. A noticeable mm. difference. Uh-huh. Yeah, the, uh, I'm going to see if, if you can all can see this. Yeah. Uh, Brent's egg, the Bramble Hollow egg, much deeper orange, mm -hmm. larger yolk, more solid yolk. The uh, store-bought egg, and still probably a good egg, but, mm. you know, you're getting, when you consider that you're paying six to six fifty a, a dozen for Brent's eggs, mm -hmm. And anywhere from four and a quarter up to seven dollars for the store bought eggs. I mean, you know, go quality. Well, it also feels a lot better too to be helping your neighbor instead of you know the big corporations or, or you know whatever you want to say there. Now, how much did you say that he charges? He for charges a dozen. A dozen six fifty, six dollars okay. fifty cents. I, I actually cooked one up. Actually, cooked two up yesterday. Made an omelet. Uh, they were delicious. The the uh, it just there's a richness to them, mm -hmm. and you know. Yeah, you so say you pay a little more for pastured eggs, but here's the other thing. Your money stays local. That money gets uh, circulated in the local economy, local jobs. <laughs> you know, for 50 cents more a dozen or so, the investment might be worth it. Maybe we'll go back to buying eggs in my house. <laughs> Thanks, George.